Happy Mother's Day. Yes. All mothers that are watching, all mothers that are listening, I want to wish you all a happy Mother's Day. Amen. Praise God. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Y feliz Día de las Madres. Amen. Amen. Pastors on St. Patricia, we welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. A church where you can uh, call home. A church where we honor God, love family, serve others, <laughs> and we pursue excellence. Amen. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls, you know. On a daily basis, we need to seek somebody we can share it with. We got to stay filled with His Word yeah. so we can come out when you share His Word. Amen. And, yeah. you know, we assemble ourselves together. But when we leave these four walls, you meet people I don't meet. Uh -huh. And I meet people you don't meet, but still we can share Jesus. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo! We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen? Yeah, amen. God's got a great message for you today, so praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to correct us. Today's yeah. message is titled, A Mother, A Precious Gift from God. Amen? So uh -huh. praise God, you know, my mom's in heaven, and I know we have, a lot of us have our moms in heaven. Amen? But still, we have lots of memories, me memories we can treasure for life. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And you know what? I just want to share with you, God's not finished with you. That's it. So it's time to get busy for him. Amen. Amen. Serve him well. And uh, he wants to use you. He's put a call on you. He's equipped you. And he wants you to go and do for him. Amen. Amen. Jesus came to serve and we can serve. Amen. So praise God. He's our greatest example. Mm -hmm. Before we go any further, Grab your sword and let's make this, make this declaration together. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. This is my Bible. Oh, I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. To King, I'll be taught the word of God. I'm holding your fist. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. And I guarantee you, your mind is alert. Because that's the battlefield. Amen. Good or bad, it's happening. And you're thinking it. And it's going 100 miles an hour. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, you know, <laughs> feed the right things so you won't be going in the wrong way. Amen. You know, whoo, Pastor had a great message. <laughs> what was it about? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I was I was somewhere else. <laughs> Grab what God has for you. Amen. Thank you Lord. Amen. This is just specifically for you. You know, I told the church here a few minutes ago, be like a little sponge and, and, and just soak up the word of God. Amen. Every time, you know, it's it's for me. If nobody wants it, I'm gonna soak it all up. Amen. That's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you know, we we can share. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Before we go any further, I have a little nugget for you, and I want to read it to you. It goes like this. It says, "Starve your distractions no. and feed your faith." Okay. Starve your distractions and feed your focus, uh -huh. your faith, and where God wants you to go. Where am I going today? Well, what is your priorities? Matthew 6, 33 says, seek him first. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, if I spend time with him, he's going to tell me where to go. And if I know where I need to go to work, still, I'm going to be focused on where I'm going and what I'm going to do. Amen. And I'm going to do this unto him. And first of all, he says, I'm giving you a day, so rejoice and be glad in it. So, man, I already know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to settle this. And regardless, you know, if I'm focused only on my job and all the priorities I have and all the distractions, man, I'm going to be a mess before I get there. I might drink a whole pot of coffee before I even get started. <laughs> but no, soak up the word first before you go anywhere. I mean, I can't tell you that enough. And the other one is this. It says, whoever regards his mouth preserves his life. And Proverbs 13.3 uh, 13, says this in New King James. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. So let's be careful. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. So speak the right words. Speak faith-filled words. How do I do this? Know what the Word of God says and don't repeat and don't say the negative things because you can have what you say. Woo. I'm blessed already. We can say amen and, uh, and go home. <laughs> Still. Mothers, a precious gift from God. Let me see what we got. First of all, it says, Mother, happy Mother's Day. And now these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. First Corinthians 13 and 13. 
And we're, we'll be going there in a few more minutes. Keep going, Turner. We have a few. Again, Happy Mother's Day. We honor and we love you. Amen. Praise God. It says Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, whether you are past, present, or soon to be moms. May your day be filled with love, joy, and laughter. Amen. So we're not excluding anyone. We're excluding everyone. Amen. Praise God. Thank we're you. We're including. 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 <laughs> y feliz día de las madres. A todas las madres. Feliz día de madres. Keep going. Okay. Stop right there. <laughs> so mother, a precious gift from God. Mother means sacrifice. Only mothers know the true meaning of sacrifice and love you see the little here precious <laughs> precious 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 again mother's precious gift keep going now okay y'all uh, when a child is born a mother is born huh. and from that moment onward she sacrifices everything for that child isn't that awesome yes man that is awesome this is a mom okay this is a mother Keep going. One more. There we go. You just stop right there. Mother, it's a precious gift from God. And we're going to be talking about gift. And you can see the little uh, periods in between. A gracious, she's gracious, she's intelligent, she's faithful, and she's tenderhearted. This is the gift God has given us. Every one of us. You know, I told the church earlier, <laughs> you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your mom. That's it. <laughs> I don't know how you got here. Not unless God this something but <laughs> you're here because of mom and yes. every one of us has a mom amen yes praise god many of us wish we still had our moms but even if if they're not or they've passed on continue to remember them love them yes. and honor them and wow. treasure all memories this is a, a key thing right here mm -hmm. we can all have great memories amen? amen treasure those memories praise god mother she's your first love she's the first love of your life She's the one who delivered you into this world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> She's the one that teaches and corrects you in your childhood years. Keep going. Okay. One more. Right there. It says, Mother is the one whom uh, we see in the Bible gives most glory and honor besides Jesus. Mm. Eve was the maybe you know maybe you don't know but Eve first woman first wife and the first mother mm. amen and uh, Genesis uh, 3 and 20 says this and the uh, Amplified says the man Adam named his wife Eve a life spring life giver because she was the mother of all the living mm. that's what that says this is a King James says she was the mother of all living. Mm -hmm. King James says all the living. Amen. Yes. So um, one more. Keep going. Keep going. Mm, one more. Right there. Mm -hmm. Mother is the one who teaches and corrects you in your childhood years. Amen. Yes. Let's open our Bibles there. Let's see right quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Proverbs. Let's open the Proverbs. <laughs> 22 and 6. We learned this a long time ago. But you know what? It's good to go back and, yes. and, and review. <laughs> it's always good. Yes. And Proverbs 22 and 6 says what? Train up a child in the way he should go. Mm -hmm. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yes. This one says, teach your children to choose the right path. Mm -hmm. When they are older, they will remain upon it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they'll know. And they'll know when they're distractions. They know when they're getting off course. Mm -hmm. You know, even the prodigal son knew he got off course. But he said, you know, I need to go back to Father's house. I need to go back. Yeah, but a lot of us, some of you are watching, some of you listening, you know you need to come back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been running too long. No, and you can't, <laughs> you can run and you can't hide because mm -hmm. God knows where you're at every yeah. time. Yeah. So it's time to come home. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is just say, you know what I'm saying against you? He knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows all your worst about you and loves you the most. So why are we still running from it? 
Why are we still putting it off? It's time to come home. You know what I'm saying? I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Start guiding me and providing for me. And he will. Amen? We just got to speak the right thing. Say the right thing. The uh, Amplified says this. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. Mm -hmm. And in keeping with his individual gift or bend. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yeah. Amen. He'll know. You know, when you teach, when you've taught, <laughs> you'll retain and you'll keep and you'll remember. Amen. So praise God. So mother is a teacher also. It says, mother who teaches and corrects you and your childhood years. Amen. Praise God. She's the one who goes from mom, the teacher, to best friend. You'll remember. It says, you know, in your, in your teen years, you know, when you keep being a little rebellious and try to get away like the prodigal son. Then you come to your senses all of a sudden when the when the world hits you upside the head <laughs> and you say, Wow, what am I doing? You know, I'm glad mom was there for it, train me, you know. I'm glad mom was there for me. And you come back and say, Mom, wow, you know, appreciate her so much, you know. Praise God. So mom is is precious. Uh, Matthew 118 uh, and Luke 135 30.35 30 is about the conception about Jesus. Go back a uh, uh, couple. Yeah, right there. It says, He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary, the wife of Joseph and the mother of Jesus Christ, conceived her within her by the Holy Spirit when she was a virgin. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. We celebrate Mother's Day once a year, but you know what? You can celebrate Mother's Day every day. Yes. Because you want to treasure your mom yeah. every day, not just once a year. Yeah. Who wants to remember? Your mom only once a year, you know? Mm. But <laughs> remember her every day. It is a day we honor moms for all they've done. Thank you, Mom. Amen. Mom's in heaven, but guess what? <laughs> we still remember. Yeah. And we treasure all those memories. And we're still pressing on with the things Mom taught us. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Keep going, Connie. That That's fine right there. Anyway, quick story. I don't get tired of telling you this little story, but <laughs> it's it's exciting. <laughs> Amen. A little boy or a little girl, don't matter. You go to the store and they want to be with you. Amen. And pay me out in the cart, they walk. And the little boy got lost. You know, he's at the mall. He's at the store. And he got lost. Anxiously, he started calling for his mom. He said, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Jesse comes running to the little son, you know, little boy. And mom says, Jesse, why? I mean, why are you calling me mom? You know, I'm your mother. She said, yeah, I know. I said, but this uh, story is filled with moms, you know. <laughs> and if I call mother, all moms will come to me. So he just wanted his mom, you know. So... Let's remember that. So just call mom that one time. Jesse! <laughs> you know, whatever. Call her! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Moms, I know the moms we grew up with, you know. When mom took care of you at home, shaped you loose, and taught you. And when all the moms in the neighborhood saw you, doing something you ain't supposed to, they would take care of you and tell mom, and when you got home, mom would do more taking care of you, you know? But you know, mom's gonna be a mom, amen? So thank God, he anxiously needed help right away. We anxiously need him each and every day, man. But you know, when your priorities are right, rejoice, be glad, Lord, you're in charge. You put him in charge, amen? That's best thing you can do because you know what if you let the enemy in he's going to come in and he's going to want to drive you for the rest of your life <laughs> until you stop and make the make the right decisions you know mm -hmm. so praise the lord for moms our world is full of mothers but only one mother is special to you mm -hmm. show her gratitude show her thankfulness show her appreciation and honor her amen yeah. so praise god why here's a simple answer because God commands us to. It's a command. You know, I'm military. I'm retired military. And when they give you a command, it's not a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to, <laughs> you got you do it. 
Amen. You do it. So God has commanded us to honor our mom and father. Amen. Our father and mother. The Lord commands us to honor our mothers. Deuteronomy 5, 16. It should be there. Yeah, right there. Thank you. It says, this one says, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord your God has commanded you. That your days may be long, yeah. and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God has given you. That all may be well with you. It's the same thing. This, this one says, King James, honor thy father and the mother as the Lord thy God has commanded thee. That thy days may be prolonged, and that it may go well within thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Mm -hmm. This one says... Uh, that your days may be long, that it may be well with you yeah. in the land which the Lord your God has given you. Mm -hmm. You want things to go well for you? Mm -hmm. You start off serving Him. Start off spending time with Him. Start yes. honoring your mom and your father. Amen. We'll take care of your fathers next month. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now go back to the other one. <laughs> oh, Exodus 20 and 12. It says, of course, he gave us Ten Commandments. This is halfway fifth. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God has given you. Amen. We want things to be, you, you want to live longer than, you know, a short time, you know. It says, the command tells us, if you want to live long, honor them. Amen. Okay, Lord. Yes, Lord. It says, that you, uh, that uh, your days may be long upon the land which God has given us. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Lord. We're going to do this mm -hmm. because it's the wife's thing to do. Yeah. So praise God. This is a, if you're a child of God, you're going to do this. Amen. Do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Ephesians 6, 1 and 3 says this. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise. I've got a promise. God's promise is something. Yeah. That it may be well with you and yeah. you may live long on the earth. Yeah. Amen. I don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Amen. I honor my father and mother. They're both in heaven now. Mm -hmm. But still, I honor them. So I'm expecting to live long. You know? <laughs> I'm expecting Amen. to live long. You know? The worst thing you can do is start speaking against it. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. You know, because... The words we speak, oh, yeah. you know, I told you, speak faith your mm -hmm. words. Faith and if you ain't speaking faith your words, mm -hmm. you're speaking negative, mm -hmm. and you're cutting yourself short. Why? Because yeah. the enemy is listening. Yeah. Says the, the the devil, as a roaring lion, goes around seeking who he may devour. So who who he's going to find out? How is he going to know? Well, he hears the words you're saying, mm -hmm. and if you're hearing, if you're speaking his words, mm -hmm. he's going to come in. and mm -hmm. say, "How did you get in?" Mm -hmm. You going you gonna find him in there. Yeah. How did you get in? You open it on mm -hmm. by speaking the negative things. Mm -hmm. But now it's time to clean it out and say, ah, I'm gonna keep you out. Mm -hmm. Speak the right things. Amen. Amen. Very important. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. Children obey your parents in the Lord, but this is right. Mm -hmm. Honor thy father and thy mother, which mm -hmm. is the first commandment with the yes. promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Amen. That's what the word says. So I'm gonna stand by what the word says. I'm gonna stay on it, stay, stand on it. Mm -hmm. So praise God, be obedient. That's the key thing. Is we mm -hmm. says, children obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the key thing. Keep going. All right. Thank you. Thank God for moms. Proverbs 31 and 30 says mm -hmm. what? Says charm is deceptive and beauty yeah. is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be. Praise. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Lord. I'm going to start at uh, 31 in uh, Proverbs 31. If you've never read it, go to Proverbs 31 and read the whole thing. Amen. Yeah, thank you, but Proverbs 31 and uh, 28 through 30 says this in the easy to read version. It says, Children, say good things about her. Husband brags about her and says, There are many good women, but you are the best. Yes. It says, Grace is beauty. Grace and beauty can uh, fool you, but a woman who respects the Lord should be praised. Yeah. That's, the, that's the word of God. Keep going from No. Again, in the Amplified, it goes like this. It says, Children, raise up and call her blessed. 
happy, prosperous, to be admired. Her husband also, it also, and he praises her, saying, by saying this, says, uh, many daughters have done nobly and well with the strength of their character, that is steadfast in goodness. But you excel them all. Charm and grace are deceptive, and superficially beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord, reverently uh, worshiping, obeying, serving, and trusting Him with all filled respect, she shall be praised. Amen. So, hallelujah. Thank the Lord for God, for, for mothers. Amen. Who is this mother? Who is this woman? She, her name is Mother. She is a precious gift from God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. A precious, precious, precious gift from God. So today I'm going to be talking to you about four qualities of a mother. This precious gift from God. The first one is this. The G is for gracious. She is gracious. A mother is a precious gift who is gracious. More, con more concerned with the needs of others than she is for her own needs. Amen. Praise God. She puts family first, those in need uh, second, herself last. She is gracious and self-given in the words she speaks, the deeds, things she does, the great, and she is gracious to the household, the family, and the needy. And this, this is a gracious mom. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. She is a precious gift from God. And the eye is for intelligence. <laughs> Mom is intelligent, praise God. She is a precious gift and not just gracious. She is intelligent, she is wise, she's industrious, she manages her family and finances well. She knows her God. And that's what we need to do. Every one of us as individuals, we need to know our God. Amen. How do we know him? Spending time with him, getting to know him. It's called relationship. Yeah. Have a relationship. That's what Christianity is all about. Having a relationship with your God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Religion is just a little uh, God and a whole bunch of man-made rules that you can never live up to. Yeah. Amen. So we just give up and say, forget it. I can't do all that. Mm -hmm. Christianity is relationship. We have a relationship with him. Spend time with him. Mm -hmm. And he spends time with you. And he says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's with us all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we just need have confidence to go to him each and every day. Yeah. She's uh has relationship with him. She knows who she is in Christ. That's what we need to do. And when you get your the word of God in you, you get to know who you are in Christ. Instead of receiving false information from the world or from people. Just because you hear somebody say something doesn't mean it's the word. I mean bounce it off the word. Anything you hear Take it to the word. What's the word says? If the word says different, if the word of God says different, then you go with what the word of God says. Not just because holy brother so and so says something. <laughs> Don't mean it's it is for real. You gotta go. Did it match did, did it did, does it uh, uh, match what the word of God says? If it's not, just put that down and, and put the word of God over this. Amen. And go by what the word says. If I say something, and if it's and you write it. Or you hear it and it's not right come let me know I can be corrected I didn't mean to say it that way but it came out that way amen I want to speak with the word of God says I don't want to give you I don't want to give you false information so praise God but we're talking about moms she has relationships she knows who she is in Christ she knows who's back in her when you know who's back in you you ain't gonna step down from no enemy no devil you know David had opportunity to go and go against the giant, and if it was just physical, a physical battle, he would have gave up. But he knew who was backing him. He said, "When I fought the bear, when I fought the lion, God was with him. God protected me." And you've been through some of these things, you know, He's backing you. And when you're speaking the word, enemy is fleeing. You know, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he's gonna flee from you. Go. Amen. He's not just seeing you. He's seeing who's backing you. Yeah. <laughs> and when you know who's backing you, you know, uh -uh, I want no part of this. So I'm gone. He says he's got to go. He's got to flee. He's got to go. 
She knows she has not been given a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. This is you. No, God is with you. No, he's given you a spirit of a power of love and of a sound mind. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. A mother is faithful. She's faithful to her God. Amen. You know, on a daily basis, first thing you do is set your priorities right. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing would be in military life. Always have your priorities right. But you know what is about my military priorities? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm a soldier for Jesus first. And my priority starts with him before I go into my regular military job, you know, and seek him first. And all these other things shall be added on to you. So she is faithful to God. She knows her priorities, God first. And then the world comes, or whatever is next. Amen, her family. Amen. Yeah. She is faithful to her husband. She is faithful to her family. Faithfulness is one of the most important qualities of God. The greatest words we can hear from God is this. Matthew uh, 25, 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You know when God calls you home and you walk in the gates of hell up and in your heaven? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hear God say, welcome home, good and faithful servant. I say, praise God. I'm in the right place. <laughs> I want to go up, not down. Amen. <laughs> It's not about our ability that counts with God, but our availability. See, we try to get mentally uh, in the world, you know, I can do this, I can do this. No, we can't do anything without Him. But when I make myself available and I give myself over to Him, He's going to use you. Amen. Make yourself available to Him. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> The fourth one is the T with the tenderness. She is tender hearted. She is overflowing with love and overflowing with kindness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Love, compassion of God flowing just right through her, you know. Praise God. She's there for you. Amen. And uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 13, 4 and 8 speaks of this. And it goes like this. In an easy to read version, it says, Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. It is not brag, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not selfish, it is it, it, it cannot be made angry easily. Love does not remember wrongs done against it. Love is uh, never happy when others do wrong, but it is always happy with the truth. Love never gives up on people. It never stops trusting, never stops, never loses hope, and never quits. Love will never end. Love never fails. Yeah. Amen. You can go find it and read it in different translations. You know, it's the first Corinthians uh, chapter 13, uh, verses 4 through 8. I just read it to you from the uh, easy to read version. Tenderness is a way of life for her. Yeah. She is a woman of tenderness, a precious gift from yeah. God. Amen. You can always include that in there. She's yeah. a precious gift from God. And that's our title. Mother, a precious gift from God. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So thank God for uh, this precious gift. Mm -hmm. Amen. And and uh, and thank you, Lord, uh, that mothers her mother for being a, a godly woman, a gracious, intelligent, faithful, and tender-hearted person, uh, gift from you, Lord. She has never failed in any of these areas. Love, accept, and forgive her. Mm -hmm. Amen? Oh, pray for her and obey this uh, commandments God has given us mm -hmm. to honor her. Amen? Because he commands us to. So the one to close, in closing, in closing. <laughs> I don't want to close except to say this. He gave us another great gift, and his name is Jesus. Yes. Amen. John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Yeah. So besides the mom, right over that is Jesus. Greatest gift ever given to us. Amen. Praise God. John 14.6 says this. says, Jesus says, I am the way. The truth and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. So if 
If you haven't received him, now is the time, you know. This is the time. All you have to do is open your mouth and confess and say this, Lord. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will. But it's time for you to do something. What do I do now? Get in a Bible-based church. Start uh, reading the Word. Studying the Word. And get, being hungry and yeah. thirsty. Not just for food, but for the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Get it in you so that it can come out of you. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. In closing, my happy Mother's Day. And thank you all for our mothers whether they're living or in heaven. So happy Mother's Day. Amen. Amen. I want to read you this poem real quick and in closing. And it says like this. God's masterpiece is mother. God took the fragrance of a flower, the majesty of a tree, the gentleness of a morning dew, the calmness of a quiet sea, the beauty of a twilight hour, the soul of a stray night, the laughter of a ripple brook, the grace of a bird in flight. Mm -hmm. Then God fashioned from these things a creation like no other. And when his masterpiece was through, he called it simply Mother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray and let's close. Mm -hmm. Lord, on this day in which we honor mothers, may we love and cherish the special woman whom you have borne us, who has nourished us and has prayed for us, for our well-being. May our hearts overflow with gratitude to you, who formed and knitted us in our mother's womb. We pray and give each mother's strength as we as uh, we ask you to be the daily bread for these for tired mothers. May each mother find rest in you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Did you receive something? Yes. Yes, I hope so to <laughs> receive this precious gift. Amen. Like I said, some of us still have mothers here. Some of us have mothers in heaven. So still, praise God. Thank you, Father. So if you're watching again and you never accepted Christ, now is the time. All you have to do is confess and bless your Lord and say, Lord, come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He will. Amen. The problem is not on his end. The problem is on our end. You need to receive it now. Amen. And confess it with your mouth. Nobody else can do it for you. You need to confess it with your mouth yourself. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, I prayed over myself this morning, you know, because my legs didn't want to go. <laughs> but I prayed over myself. Amen. You can pray over yourself, too. And uh, whatever it is, you know, just confess says by Jesus Christ you're healed from the yes. crown of your head to the soles of your feet you know you get older and there's, there's some uh, symptoms malfunctions I say wait a minute I say I don't receive this by Jesus Christ I'm healed I don't receive any malfunctions in my body I want my everything in my body to function just the way God created it to function yes. so I speak healing over my body and you speak healing over your body not only that the body receive your healing now I receive my healing in Jesus precious name amen so thank you Lord Woo! time to give those that are watching go to our website nbcbigben.com hit that donate button if you're mailing it NBC PO Box 2521 for Texas 79843 and cash app just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben God bless you Happy Mother's Day to all our moms. We love you. God loves you. Have a blessed day.